um, emailing and all sorts of things. Multitasking. Multitasking. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, let me get go. my camera up. This is going to be Manning. Right. We got several cameras. We got someone's text. Matthew me. Kendrick, and we got the couch cam, and I'm going to put my webcam. Up. Oh, there I am, and uh, I'm just going to size this down a little bit here. We're That's all here in the nervous. same room except for Matt. Matt is not here. That's right. Matt is in a undisclosed location. A bunker. An, An underground bunker. bunker. Ah. I I'm. Uh, I, I'm actually with Anonymous. I've hacked into the broadcast. <laughs> uh, it's a hostile takeover of the show. So, will I get headphones, or will I be the only one left out of what Matt's? I'm going to get you headphones. Get me Here's your you're mind you're, right you're better off not hearing what I have to say. Yeah, Logan will be left out, but hang on. And uh, uh, I think this is where the this is actually where the uh, sparks are coming from, or at least the static. Woo! Yeah, it's is power. it really bad? I'm sorry. It's probably that's okay. Snapping your ears over there. Sorry about that. All right. So All right. are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are we good to go? Like, are we rolling? Like. I think we're rolling. Are we on? We're rolling. We're live like a, right like now. Like a jalopy in the in the west. In a jalopy in the west, we're rolling. In the west. My good cousin Steve is here. Hello. That's right. Steve has joined us in the studio, and uh, also we have broadcasting live. We have our friend Matthew. Matthew, what's your last name? I actually don't know it. Kendrick. Kendrick. Matthew Kendrick is joining us mm. as, as well. Yeah. Oh, just this guy. I just get the first name intro. I see how it is. <laughs> I'm just the lonely cousin. We'll, we'll say your first name. No one needs to know it. That was a that was a slim. That was. Uh, why? Uh, why is that? Why is that? What is your last name? I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. My a man with with a beard like that. A beard like that. It's just the first name is all we need. I tell you, the first name is the most important. <laughs> We also have Luke, who's, like, trying to put on a shirt in here. Luke is Logan's youngest yes, kid. That's right. For now. Oh, my gosh. Currently. The youngest one he knows about. How dare you put that on me? Am I sparking? Oh, am I sparking? I don't want to be sparking at all. Um, how's, it, how's, it, how's it sounding out there in, in crazy uh, sounds. It sounds pretty, pretty much the same. But we've, we've been I'll, trying I'll deal. To, We've been trying to get uh, Logan's sound to work properly. Uh, every night, we just we just need to get something down. Just... Yeah, I'm amateur. I mean, what happened? We we threw some new things in the mix. The Skype is being one of them, and uh, yeah. I think you were running just a little bit late today, so I, I decided to do the audio myself. And... Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I let's just get it all out right now. I had to get so. gas and then. And then like so sudden? Do you norm, do you normally do the sound sudden? I do. Yeah, yeah. See, that explains everything. <laughs> this is yeah. this is why we need sudden. Yeah, that's why you need me around. Yeah, I I'm I'm the sound guy. Which you know, I never really wanted to be the sound guy. Like I can do sound, but I don't really like doing sound. But you know, hey, if I need to be, if you need me, I'll be around. You yeah. Know. Welcome to most people's careers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> work in general. I can work, but yeah. uh, if I don't have to. I don't really want to stay here, but I, I stayed here for 28 years. <laughs> I figure out what else to do. So. so now, you know, screw it. It's, it's all downhill from here. What is this show about? Folks, do you ever wonder about life's persistent question? That 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 right there sounded like um who is that uh who's that uh who's the DJ for uh Coast to Coast? What's his name? You sounded just like him. George what is that guy's name? George, yeah, I've heard um, that, that that show is wild. Oh that show is awesome. I listen to that show almost every I fall asleep to it almost every night. That's um, funny. But it's... uh it, yeah, it's a wild show, man. It's crazy as like it's like he has like different voices saying all kinds of crazy different shit every night. It's like, one that's night, a, that's one a really interesting have... show. I fall asleep to it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's on at like freaking two. So, you know, oh, okay. you know, um, yeah, it's like one night he'll have like one person, uh, saying that UFOs are real. And then the next night he'll say, have a person saying that UFOs are not real. And he counteracts and he just gets discussions going and talks about planet x and solar flares which i don't really understand what that is uh and, yeah he uh, does it 
he doesn't really like uh, try to push his own opinion. He's just getting information out of these whoever people. he's talking to. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These people that he that he interviews and people he has phone interviews with, and uh, uh. and gets callers to come in. Uh, mostly, most of the callers that call in are mostly truck drivers because that's uh, mostly who listens to his show. That's like a, a huge generation. Yeah, right, uh. right, right. Yeah, but um, be away. but yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Doing all nighters and stuff, but uh, but yeah, that that show is crazy. Um, it's an interesting show. Logan is coming back. Uh, <laughs> some wire in his hand. He is. Uh, we, we're hodgepodging this show <laughs> as we do every week. Let the booze flow. Let the yeah. booze flow. Yes, I agree. Let the blue. The, the <laughs> yes, well, it's apparently it has been flowing um, for so long. Um, what happened? Uh, okay, maybe a little too much. What happened to my ears? Oh, okay. Um, guys, what is this show called? What do you guys have a name for? This show is called so Soden and Logan Talks. And what we do is that Soden. we we first we start off like talking about movie stuff, like film stuff, like what's happening in the industry. Uh, or and then like towards the end of the show we just <laughs> talk about like whatever we want, really. Wow. Soden and Logan show. Welcome yeah, to yeah. the solo show. Yeah, but we we, uh, we bring uh guests onto the show to interview them. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about like what you do and like what's what your profession is and all that type of jazz. Who me? Uh yeah. I was uh I was talking to um, I can't see I can't see what's going on and uh, I just hear some dialect. So, what? you guys just when you want me to say my name. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, <laughs> we'll 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 uh, we'll we'll give you the the bat signal. Um, <laughs> if David can remember, remember my name or not, <sighs> I'm terrible with names. <laughs> I'm horrible with names. I've known it, Maddie it for a me, while, and it really makes me feel at home because when people forget my name, I'm like, oh, thank God, there's other people like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same yeah. here. I'm terrible. They go in one ear and right out the other with me. It's it's horrible. <laughs> But, so, uh, uh, yeah, Stephen Cox, and I'm a uh, uh, mechanic by trade, and I have a uh, mobile mechanic service, so I mainly work on heavy equipment and, and big rigs and, and stuff that nobody else wants to work on. So. Oh, interesting. So so not more than just cars. You work on, like... Uh, yeah, I work on, uh, man, everything from weed eaters to hovercrafts. And everything else Whoa, I need right. the hovercraft story right now. Hovercraft. The hovercraft, so... I worked at the There's city. a hovercraft... That wasn't a joke. No, no. I have a hovering weed eater. Can you fix that? <laughs> sure. I, I, I worked for the city of Fort Worth, and I started working on cop cars, and that was it. And then I got promoted, and, and I went to working on fire trucks. Hmm. Well, when you work in a fire truck shop, there's no fire trucks to work on. You work on city equipment. <laughs> oh, so yeah. They have two hovercrafts to go into Trinity River. No and way. The, the late 1980s. And uh, Interesting. I, I drew the job, and the, the supervisor <laughs> told me, my lead, he's like, okay, do not wreck this hovercraft. Like, what do you mean? Because everybody that drives this hovercraft the first time wrecks it. Every single person. We have spent thousands and thousands oh of gosh. dollars on body. Wow. Repair. No way. Because people don't realize there's no brakes on a hovercraft. I mean, you have to spin the other way around to 180 degree and then flip the throttle to get it to stop. Oh, wow. my gosh. Oh, my God. That's just, you don't think about it. I mean, everything you get in has a brake. Well, that, that's crazy. That's crazy. So did you get a chance to get out? Oh, yeah, it? man. I, I didn't wreck it. You didn't wreck it. All I right. Did, all I right. Didn't get it stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you should get a sticker for that. For I, not wrecking it did, on yeah. the first drive. I, I, I did <laughs> high center it and got it stuck. So, uh, oh, okay. I, I just had to get out, and nobody knew about it, but I got out, and I like pushed it back over the hump, and I was like, well, that was stupid. <laughs> oh, no, <but laughs> I was this close, man. I was like a, a fraction of an inch away from going to the Trinity River and just like hauling ass down it. But wow, it's like it, it, it would have been a great story. I should have done it because I would have gotten fired for doing it. So, 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 what do so, they need? I'll go ahead, Dave. I'm sorry. Uh, so, like the hovercraft, can you like take it over to like a park? Can you like just oh man, run down like yeah. a, a a walkway and uh... but let's say you're driving down the road with it and you see a trail, go down that trail. You see a river, go down the river. See a lake, go wow. in the middle of the lake. That's wild, yeah, man. Yeah, the thing's crazy, man, and um, it'll go What does the anything. city need it for? What does the city of Fort Worth need to hovercraft for? They call it a fast river rescue vehicle. Uh-huh. Right, so FR, uh, fast rescue something. river, FRR something, the, whatever. Uh, 
That's crazy. So yeah, I mean, I, it, and it was cool to get to drive it because I was the first one to ever drive it the first time and not wreck it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have a T-shirt that that reads "I did not wreck the hovercraft." Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's no. like a that's like a badge of achievement. Yeah, yeah. It really so is. Everything in between, man. I mean, weed eaters, hovercrafts, and eighteen wheelers, and bulldozers, and anything with an engine. You know what this reminds me of, Logan? Take a uh, look for this video online. There okay. is a golf hovercraft. There's a golf cart that is a hovercraft, and I found a video of it online once. See if you really? can, see, yeah, see if you can find that. That's just, this is what it's, that's what this is reminding me of. Is that yeah. I saw this video and this this like it's like a golf cart, but it's a hovercraft, and it goes like over the lake, so yeah. that uh, yeah. so that they go over the lake and then like ride right up yeah. the whole the, right up the the uh, the fairway. You can um, do that in a hovercraft. And a, the, the approach is a little different than people think because some of the things you see on YouTube like. The approach from land to water is like instant. Well, a hovercraft, you'll just sometimes nose dive. bigger. Uh huh. I mean, you'll you'll you're really like the nose will go in it, and you'll just flip over. But yeah, there are, I've seen one on there where uh, yeah, people do snowmobiles on water. Have you ever seen those? Uh uh-uh, uh no. If you get fast enough, you can take a snowmobile from land to water and skip across a surface tension. Wow. And you can go all over the lake in a snowmobile. Wow. Yeah, it's like same kind of deal, but a, a hovercraft. You have to ease into the water, and it floats, and then it kind of lifts up, and then you go out on the water. But that's crazy. So it was cool, and there's just and to drive it, there's one joystick. And that's it. I mean, you you push it forward, you go forward, back, you go back, left and right, and then it's just like an airplane because you've got rudder control. <laughs> that's so crazy that our city has that, and it just like I guess it it, it must like sit and collect dust for. Oh yeah, Months. it's got like two, you know, two hundred hours on it. It was built in the eighties. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, does quick... it have the flux capacitor? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, equipment, all equipment runs on hours instead of like mileage because we we drive our cars in mileage, and then you just uh, equipment has a little meter on it that, that that figures or it keeps track of how many hours the engine is ran. So, in thirty years, it's ran two hundred hours. You know? Wow! Yeah, they do. Oil so, have now. they actually used it? Have they actually rescued some folks with it? Yeah, yeah. they have okay. actually went onto the Trinity River and, and rescued people with it. You know, and it's wow. a, a fast rescue vehicle. So, uh, generally, it's like parties that get out of control is when they'll bring it out because oh yeah. Generally, by the time they can get it and get it out there, there's somebody that has dove into the river and saved whatever dumbass is high or drunk out there. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the but the river isn't really all that. It's not. Deep. It's like three or four foot deep. Yeah, exactly. It's like knee deep. It's yeah. like... Stand up and go, stand up. <laughs> Just stand up. What was that, uh, Monty Python? Or, no, no, no. It's uh, uh, Robin right. Hood. Right? Robin Hood with the uh, Christian... Not the Christians. You got Christian Slater and... Uh, oh, Re- Robin Hood Men in Tights. No, no, no. Not, not that one. Oh, no, no, no. You're ta- oh, you're talking about Christian Slater. You're talking about like, the, the, uh, the drama Slater one. Christian Slater and uh, Kevin Costner. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, little John is drowning in a river, and Kevin Costner walks over to him, and he goes, "Just, just stand up." He's like, literally, the the big the little John is like drowning. He's like, "I'm drowning, I'm drowning." He's like, just stand up. <laughs> it's the same deal in the training. He's like, "Just fucking stand up, yeah. man. What's wrong with you?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's like you know, I go down to Austin. I I try to go down to Austin any chance I can, and um, and uh, I I drive like over bridges that go over the river, and there are people that are just canoeing, and they got their boats and they're speeding, and people are swimming. I'm like, I wish I could do this at home. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we have the Trinity. Yeah, we have the Trinity, which is like yeah. full of refrigerators and couches. Yeah, and dead dogs. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. I've always heard that it's filthy. Is is it as dirty as they say? Yes. Oh, really? Next to the Trinity and next to the Lake Worth, uh, Lake Worth Lake, and uh, is Lake Worth dirty? Yes. Really? There, there are several, probably a dozen trailer parks that empty all of their sewage into the lake when when their septic tanks overflow. They just pump it into the lake. That's disgusting. There is a chemical. Uh, That's okay, deplorable. so Carswell Air Force Base, which is now the Joint Naval Air Station Base, right? J N S B. J N A S B. Carswell used to have a pipeline that went out into the lake, and they would dump this chemical into the lake because they didn't think it was toxic at the time. Well, then they found out it was toxic, so they stopped doing it. Oh. Well, not only did they dump this, they dumped fifty-five gallon drums full of this whatever it was. And it's benzene or something into the lake. And then they figured out in the 50s that, hey, this is probably a bad idea. <laughs> so in like the 60s and 70s, they went back and they 
picked up all these 55 gallon drums so even now uh, the the city and the state will tell you do not eat the fish out of Lake Worth Lake because 18 inches down in the silt there's this level of or layer of chemical whatever it is oh when it gets wow. disturbed they tell you do not eat the fish out of Lake Worth well Lake mm. Worth feeds the Trinity River oh you know so yeah and, and I'll, I'll tell you a, a personal story I grew up on Lake Worth me and my dad we got broke one time so we set out a trot line on Lake Worth. So uh-huh. we started catching catfish. Uh-huh. Well, that Saturday, we had a catfish fry. And we had like 20 little one, two-pound catfish. Nobody else would eat the catfish because everybody heard the warnings. But me and my dad were like, oh, there's just government you know, BS, whatever. We ate the fish. We got sick for a fucking week, man. Both oh, of us. Only people wow. to eat that fish. Oh, only people to get sick. Oh, oh man. And, and yeah, it was terrible. I mean, that was like one of the sickest points of my life. So now, yeah, I'll go down and I'll catch fish, but I'll throw every one of them mother as, as far as I possibly can. <laughs> yeah. back here, you know? Did you just self censor? Yes, I did. <laughs> That's very good. I was impressed with I can't. I can't see you guys, so I can't tell if Logan hit the switch really fast or. <laughs> no, I just self censored. I gotta. I gotta stop cussing, man. I don't want my golf cart hovercraft. I think up. that's the third one yeah, down. I hear you. I think that's the one that I saw. Which I'm one? Walker and Schlummer. 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 Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, take a look at this. I don't know, Matt. You'll see. Matt, it. can you see I, it? I can't. I can't see anything. I'm oh, afraid. He'll probably get that. He's gonna get it. He has a 10 second delay on his end. Um, but I'm definitely checking on your Skype thing here in a sec. That's uh, how's the sound doing? Is the sound all right? It's you know it tolerable. Has improved the same thing. It's, yeah, it's distorted. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm not. Am, am I coming across? Man, clear? You you're, you're crystal solid. clear. You're okay, like great. A velvet voice. A <laughs> velvet voice. <laughs> Melissa-less. It is, Melissa. man. Crazy. They put a hood on it. They put a golf hood on it. I, 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 I All right, what are you guys looking at? Because I'm going we're, crazy. We're looking at we're looking at a uh, a golf hovercraft, and golf. what they've done is they've taken the hovercraft. Because you said, does that look like the hovercraft that you yep. saw? A little uh, bit, yeah. They basically took the hovercraft that he drove, and they put a golf cart <laughs> like top <laughs> on top of it. Okay, it's, I'm seeing it now. Is Bubba, Bubba it's Watson. It's insane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going across the lake. Oh, Look at this guy! What a show off! Uh, so that's that's crazy, man. That's money right there. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that is big oh, money. That dude's like twenty grand, probably. Jeez, just to make your putts, <laughs> you <laughs> jackass! That's crazy. Well, how about Ma- well, how about Matthew? Matthew, let's uh, a, talk to uh, talk to Matthew a little bit. Uh, what do you do, sir? I'm just this guy. <laughs> well, That's, we're all guys, just, but you know, just he just hacked into the feed. That was it. I sit here and talk into the microphone. Yeah, I hacked in, and uh, <laughs> I don't have my guy with, folks mask. Are you with Anonymous? That's right. Yeah, that's right. I suspect you guys are being involved with ISIS. So <laughs> <laughs> take down uh, your site. Good. No, take don't worry about site. us. We're fine. We're cool. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, I trust. That's all I need. I trust you. <laughs> We're looking at your website right here. That is a great face shot, man. Or a screen, what do they call those? Headshots. Headshots. Did oh, Mike, dear. Did Mike take that? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. You know, Mike McLean, photo credit, because Mike McLean, he made me look good. He could, you know. Isn't incredible. he amazing? He's amazing. He, he was talking on our show last week, and it was like the best freaking, like, like, he's such a... He's such an honest guy, you know. He's such an honest and personable, personal guy. <clears throat> yes, it's amazing. He's, just he's the salt it. of the earth. I mean, he really is, and he just, you know, he loves what he does, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, I mean, he he made you and Logan look good, and that's that's talent. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ouch! Oh, it took man. several. Cameras. You cut me right here. <laughs> you, you, you can't you can't see it, but I, it's right over my heart, <laughs> <laughs> right here. Um, no, but uh, yeah, I saw your headshots on the last broadcast. That looks fantastic. yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't um, I haven't posted that to Facebook yet, but I will, and that's going to be a monument uh, uh, a monument occasion because uh, I have not changed my Facebook photo since hmm, since two thousand 
too. Since Facebook came into being? Is it <laughs> 2000 what? How old is your Facebook uh, My Facebook is, is uh, I got my Facebook in 2009. Do most something people, extraordinary. Most people got it in like 2006, but I didn't jump onto the bandwagon because I never jump onto ban- to bandwagons too early. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? I've right. heard you still have a black and white TV at home. Is that right? Well, you, you know, the, the rabbit ears don't work anymore. So, yeah. oh, it's, I, I, right. I guess they're forcing me to <laughs> get a, TV causes what cancer. is a d- digital That's converter right. box? What is this? <laughs> I don't, I don't oh, yeah, the converter these box. things. <laughs> I'm a kid of the 90s, you know, I... I spent my time talking on uh, talking on the telephone and uh, listening to uh, CDs and <laughs> CDs. I paying twenty bucks for a CD. Remember when you used to pay twenty yes. freaking dollars? That was oh, expensive yeah. back in those days. Yeah. Beastie Boys licensed to ill man. And Jeez, it came out in the eighties, but it was still twenty five dollars in the mid nineties. Yeah, man, crazy. Does anybody say, can you find a CD store anymore? They're gone, aren't they? Yeah, um. Gone. I think Best Buy has some CDs and stuff. There's a there's a CD store that's um that's down uh, Camp Bowie and it's past a twenty. I, I think it's called Dino's. Uh, I think it's Dino's and they sell both CDs and they sell vinyls too. Okay, um, so they're kind of it's kind of a novelty thing. Y- well, CDs are turning into a novelty thing, you know. Oh, good because I have a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming back into style. That's right. <laughs> Oh my my neckties, maybe. The audio quality of a CD, you just can't beat it. Like albums. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, right? That's yeah. Great. I love the scratchy sound. The scratchy sound the CD makes. When, when they were skips. skipping, that was the whole yeah, thing when they dubstep. Skipped, That's man. how dubstep got created. <laughs> yeah, man. People heard the skipping. <laughs> so, Matt, we're going we're gonna to listen to one real quick. Is that all right? Sure. You're going to listen to what? A well, CD? he's got a couple a of CD's demos. Good. Matter of fact, oh, he can, has a demo. Yeah, you can. Let's see the industrial demo. <clears throat> We're EV Carco, the first automotive retail group dedicated to creating a coast-to-coast network of eco-friendly vehicle dealerships. Oh, yeah. We've developed All a right, complete franchise. Yeah. Legal disclaimer video. Actual price may vary based on options. I can't hear what you guys are doing, but it sounds. Oh, really? You can't hear this? Oh, that's wild. We're just playing your uh, your demos on your website here. Yeah. Oh, God. License. Please see your dealer for details. <laughs> this program is intended for informational purposes only. Opinions expressed one. should not be construed as medical advice. I wonder why I can't you hear only... it. That's strange. That I... is. Uh, you should be able to hear this. Um, it doesn't matter. Yeah. As long as the listeners... You, you know what it sounds like. I'm sure <laughs> yeah. you've heard it before. I'm actually hoping the listeners can't hear it. Now, <laughs> is there a, you haven't done any audiobooks yet, right? I've done a few, but, you know, nothing real big. But wait a minute. Is it romance novels? Kimmy, what is the subject matter of the book? <laughs> romance. Kind of. I mean, yeah, I did kind of a was sad Fabio romance novel. Was on the front cover? No. <laughs> her oh, heck no. Her breasts were firm. <laughs> only, the, only the celebrities get the, the front cover, you know. <laughs> Read by Patrick Stewart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, did, you didn't have your website up yet, do you? Or you have the, the yeah, logo? Up. What, what is it called? You can't find it, but I don't know why. It, it, It'll take a couple of weeks if it's no, brand it, new. No, it's been a couple of months. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's uh, txmobilemechanics.com, I think. There are ways to bring it up on your on the Google search, Man, but I, I don't know. I people find it somehow. I don't know how they call, <laughs> they call you. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's well, a good it start. Works, it works. I, it the just, problem, yeah, I, I didn't get it just now. Tx the whole bile mechanics.com. The problem is, I picked this name, and we got on GoDaddy, and I was like, let's try some names. So I tried some names, they didn't work, and then Texas Mobile Mechanics. I was like, heck yeah, Texas Mobile Mechanics. Well, there is another company in Fort Worth called TexasMobileMechanic.com. Oh, okay, oh. I just saw that one pop up. Yeah, so it's that one is not it. it mine is TXMobileMechanics.com, and... I, I see. think it is. I always have to call my wife and ask her, like, what's, <laughs> what? what's our website? I, <laughs> I mean, you can't get it too simple. But people, people find it somehow. And you know what's funny? 100% of the demographic that finds my website, it lives on the east side of Fort Worth. Because they were like the ghettoest people that call. They're like, what? I, dude, really? I don't know what it is. I've had like 50 phone calls and every single one is, hey, man, I got my own... My Cadillac, my Cadillac, man, he's got this problem on him, man. He's just like a little wool bar. And I'm like, hey, sir, sir, what did you say? <laughs> man, what the heck, man? 
If it needs a wheelbarrow, man. I'm like, it needs a wheelbarrow? No, man. No. <laughs> like, bring your tools out here. Yeah, exactly. It's a gated community. Oh, yeah. I see. That's, that's yeah, what I no get. Way. I'm like, no, nah, man, I'm, I'm busy because it, it makes me nervous. And yeah. I hate to be that way, but I hear that accent and I mm. hear the, the kind of tone and I'm like, I can picture myself going to the Middle East side and, and <laughs> yeah, and you freaking you don't know what you're walking Let into. Let me make sure I'm typing this in. What, TX Mobile Mechanic. I I'm think typing. that's it, man. I don't. Did you find it, uh, uh, Matthew? You found no, it? no. I, I did get a Texas Mobile Mechanics, but it's yeah. it's just texmm.com. And, and, it, and does it have Stephen Stephen Cox? Top on in it? Texas Mobile Mechanic, and then see if that comes up. Okay. You don't have a video. Do you have a video on your webpage? No. Well, that's, that's the other guys, right? <clears throat> yeah, the other well, guys have a, have a video on you've it. You've been putting videos, though. There says mechanics, plural, too. Yeah, theirs is like tmm.com or tmm. Yeah, yeah, text Whatever, them. mine's not that. But I have YouTube videos, and I've got a Facebook. So my, my Facebook and YouTube videos usually come up quicker than... And they're under Stephen Cox, mobile mechanic. I think YouTube. it's under Stephen4785 is my, my username. It's not Steve, it's PH. Oh, right. You don't know how to spell my name? Dude, I don't even know you. Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know your name. Now Sorry. You <laughs> I'll be quiet, Susan. Susan. Yeah. <laughs> and none of those videos are it. Oh. Uh, There's no space between 4785. 4785. YouTube. Dodge Ram, off-roading. There you go. There's me several, several years ago. What? You were off-roading? Yeah, that's like in 2005. I was illegally off-roading in Benbrook. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. This video show that's your limitations. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the, um, that's the, uh, that was the, um, that was the Budweiser commercial, Logan. Yeah. That, um, uh, remember me with names? What's his name did? On, on this one. Dennis. Dennis on did. On Facebook, it's Texas Mobile Mechanics. Right. I don't know. It's a mess, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix it at some point. But Matt, have you actually seen that uh, Super Bowl ad where they make a uh, large? They're making a large uh, Pac-Man. Pac-Man. No, I've not seen that. It's they're pretty, making a giant Pac-Man. It's well, see, pretty crazy. Um, Soden's dad uh, does sound padding, and he knows the guy that basically did the programming because it's a real working uh, maze. It works just like Pac-Man. My God. And so with living ghosts, with, yeah, physical moving around ghosts. So ghosts act- are dead. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm watching this video right now. This is incredible. Yeah, so yeah right. <laughs> the, the the system can actually track that guy's body and knows where he goes over, it, and then it changes all the ghosts into you know where he can we can tackle them. So oh my god! He programmed all the lighting, and, and, it, and it's just like the game. It's a real wow. game. <laughs> that is a lot of fun. So, what's the point of? The, are, do you get to go in and be Pac Man, or what's the deal? You uh, sell well, more beer. That's, that's what. Point. That's what. Sell the, more beer. The, okay. The point of this ad was to sell more beer. But I tell you uh, what, they got Pac Man on there. I'm going to buy some of that beer right there. <laughs> that looks pretty, pretty dog. I wouldn't buy good. Bud Light if you paid me. <clears throat> you, it's like it's like connoisseur. You. It's it's you drink it. And well, you just screwed yourself out of a future sponsor. So nice uh, go. Could have gotten so. Bud Light. They're easy. They send the girls out and everything. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Is, is this your truck? That was my old Dodge, yeah. Oh, my. Uh-oh. Now Man. you're stuck. <laughs> I got it out. I'm... Watch. Yeah, I got it out. Oh, yeah, you did. There it is. <laughs> this We're watching the, uh... Steven here, uh, Matt, uh, mudding through... Uh... Where is the is Benbrook Lake? Benbrook behind Albertsons. <laughs> I'm watching oh my Pac- God. Man, 377. <laughs> wow, so it wasn't out in the boonies. It looks like it's out in the boonies. That's yeah, it wild. looks like it, but but now all of this is all uh, uh, home divisions or uh, housing developments. Home stuff, developments. This, this video right here, this is when I finally figured, uh, I first figured out that on camera things don't look the same. <laughs> what? Because right now, there, I stood next to this hill and I was like, there's no way I can get this truck up this hill. That's why my buddy right there, and this one is the same way. I'm like, there's no way I can get up there because it's it's such a steep but a steep incline. It doesn't but look on like the video, that, right? Yeah, 
it doesn't look like Jack Crab. Isn't it's like, crazy? well, you, you went over a speed well, bump. Well, you're taking, <laughs> well, you're taking 3D and you're putting exactly. it into a 2D. It's, that's yeah. Like, yeah. And it wasn't until this video I, I figured out that man, everything on camera looks completely freaking different than it does in real life. Yeah. Because I mean, that hill, I was like, wow, this is so impressive to get up this hill. And I saw it on video, and I was like. This is retarded. You know it. what, Logan? Know. But yeah. then people like Mike McLean can take a picture and they can bring it out and you see the detail. But right. Yeah, people like that's me, true. schmoes like me, no way. This little clip right here, I had so many people ask me, like, how'd you do this? I'm like, I, I don't you know. You do I, a donut. I did a donut and I stopped at a specific point because I know where the camera was. And they're like, well, how'd you get the dust to do that? I'm like, I didn't play none of this. <laughs> There's... There's some you know, people off to the side. Yeah, this is a movie dirty. magic. This, this is, is a huge <laughs> production. You know, I had all these film guys and, and blowers. I'm like, I did a freaking donut, and I knew where the guy that was, you know, filming. And right Waiting at the end of this, the there's like an outtake, right? Uh -huh. So the guy in the back of my truck actually wanted to be a film guy. The guy filming right now. <laughs> I knew this bump was there, and I bumped him up in the air, and then I filmed him in the same bump the next next time you see him. He got all this footage, and he was like, well, there's no none of this footage is any good. This guy. Please return Please. your seat backs and tray table to the upright position. <laughs> <laughs> so I bumped him. He, he gave me back this video, and he was like, yeah, that's me right there. He goes, uh, there, there's nothing on this video worth making a video out of. And I was like, uh, well, what? Yeah. What are you doing? I was like, bro? man, just just give me the video. I'll, I'll edit it. So I edited this on uh, Microsoft Movie Maker. Yeah, oh yeah. That's what gosh. it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, this whole deal. And I was like, I did it in like 20 minutes or something like that. We got nothing. We got nothing. You think he's saying we got nothing because he wanted to deal with editing? or do you No, think that... it's because he's OCD. Uh. Because anybody that, like, I don't know if you've ever been around somebody that's really, really OCD. But they can't do projects because if it's not absolutely perfect, perfect, right? From yeah. the beginning, it's just scrap it. It's just like so. <laughs> it seems Lucas. like you'd never get anything done. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's sorry. That's exactly I had a bad right George at. Lucas cough. Uh oh. Yeah. Um, if it's not perfect, can't do it, and that's his deal. And I made this, and his comment to me was like, "Dude, I watched that video, and I'm actually pretty jealous." What? I was like, "What are you jealous of?" I'm like, "I've never edited a movie ever. I don't know anything about film production. I don't know any. I've been. I just took the clips of like the most exciting thing that I saw, and that was it. Crazy, Logan. Why don't you take your one of your um, do one of your 360 things and do it uh, while he's uh, out mudding and stuff like that? Oh yeah, man. That'd be crazy awesome, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, putting that thing on a zip line. I don't go. I don't have a four wheel drive truck anymore. But that. Oh well. That and cops, right? They're. It seems like they're waiting. They're like, it's like something they check on. Like, oh yeah, I wonder if that one spot anybody's at, and they just yeah. go by. And, you know what I mean? It's like and on they their, check I got it. an off road ticket. Really? That's the exact spot right by my dirt bike one time when I was younger. Wow. I was, I was riding they around. They do that? Oh yeah, dude, dude. They. That's like it's like their brownie for the day. It's like it's the city of Benbrook. So they have nothing. Better they're brownie to say. for the day. What yeah, you say, I don't, You know, they have their donuts in the yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah when they're with the radar gun, <laughs> and then they're like, "I'm gonna have a brownie in the afternoon." Where's that uh, off-road place? Exactly. I know some idiot's gonna mm -hmm. be on that lane. Wow. Small, smaller cities have nothing better to do than than pop a guy for off-roading. You know, that's it. That's that's the, the climax of their day. They'll, they'll re <laughs> literally they'll go back to the sector. They're they're wherever they you know, report to, and be like, man. I caught a dude off road today. Uh huh. Another uh -huh. guy's like, high five! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Really? Like, my wife was a city of Fort Worth cop, and, and she wouldn't give a, a shit less if you were. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. She wouldn't give a crap sorry, less. Sorry, but... <laughs> You yeah. missed it, Matt. Um, she wouldn't give a crap it. less if you were out off road. She's like, you know, if you're not out, like, you know, drunk driving, or you're not out, like, you know, uh, killing people, it's like, I, don't, I would sit there and watch you off road. I mean, I wouldn't care. I mean, who are you. Who are you hurting? You're hurting your own vehicle. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's it. You know, you know, when I was in college, um, I was hanging out with a random person, and uh, they had a friend from Longview was in Denton, and so we went to like we went to like the Denton Square, and we started just crossing the street to just like get to you know wherever we were going. And he said, uh, "Don't you want to like wait until we get to the corner?" And we're like, mm, "Why?" It's like, "Well, when we get like stopped for jaywalking." <laughs> what? It's like, yeah, in Longview, we get stopped for jaywalking all the time. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> it's because that's all they have to do. Yeah. That's all they have to do out there. 
That's that's just that's silly. Now, is there a way to find your site from Facebook? I mean, I don't know because if I log into it, it's on my what my right, login. Right, right, right. I think if you type in a. Uh, uh, Maybe text a mobile mechanic on Facebook or something, or, or it's funny because my my DBA my my do business as my official is uh, Texas Shell Resolutions TSR. That's why the the logo on the hat and the shirts and everything TSR. Is that what the hat? That's what your hat yeah. is. Okay, cool. So TSR. Well, when I, and I did that because every single uh, person you call in the oil field, it's all you know three syllable, you know. TSR, uh, XTO, EOG, it's, it's all that kind of stuff. So I picked something that was kind of easy to like TSR. There, yeah, that's okay. my my well, Yelp page. So where? Okay, there is the dot com. There you go. You found it. <laughs> we found it. Woo! That's it. Oh, there that is, it is. That is a supercharger on the the front page. So oh wow, is, yeah. That is actually it. And got your mug shot. <laughs> Up there in the shot. left. Gotta give, yeah, gotta get that. Cool, and I've, I've got some videos on the uh, uh, YouTube and and uh, Facebook, but I, I get I get there freaking we... busy and I don't think about it. What was that, Matt? You know, I I'm, you know how smart I am and how, how uh -oh. quick I think of things. I, I just <laughs> yes, I went to the broadcast. I finally just are, went to the Matt. broadcast so I could see you guys. Oh, really? Okay, so now you can see how but stupid I'm. I've been sitting here just was, staring yeah. at a wall. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, it's broadcasting live. <laughs> But I, I was wondering, yeah, I was like... Talk um, in uh, uh, Stephen with a PH, Stephen Cox 09. Okay, one second. Because this account, I, I can't get into it anymore. I don't know why. I tell you, I hear that. What is it? Uh, how do you say... What do you say? Stephen Cox 09. That's another video I did where I was off-roading, but... Yeah, uh, Stephen Cox 09 on uh, YouTube and... and sh well, talk to me. Talk to me. Is this in it? Is it? it? There's, there's no spaces. Ah. In the yeah, it should have a. Uh, and nothing, nothing comes up. Yeah, of course. Body beast. Yeah, that's the. That's when I was working <laughs> out. I would have that Texas one where you jumped in the ice. If you click on my my username, the videos will come up. Is it uh, Rachel Cox? No. Dang it. Why is it not coming up? I don't, I don't know, know why it's not. Uh, Body Beast. Yeah, that's before I... <laughs> What's going on here? I keep watching. What? Oh, yeah. Body I lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, let's... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing a lot of shit on this computer right now. Yeah. <laughs> doing a hell of a lot. <clears throat> so I, I did P P90X about two and a half years ago. Good God. This is before I started P90X, and I, I shaved my head for whatever reason. I, I don't know why, but... That's like my my after results, but then I stopped. Yeah, that, now you look like the. How long now? How long did you had you done it before you stopped though? Because you did shape up. Uh, man, it wasn't very long, man. It was a uh, four and a half, five months, and I can okay. tell you the exact day that I stopped was uh, I, I was working out. Uh, I did uh, body beast, and then I, one day I I was working in an oil field, so I worked like seventeen hours that day, and I came home and I didn't want to work out. So my wife, uh, I mean, she just like raked me over the freaking coals when I got home for not working out. Wow. So like, I was like, and she asked me, she's like, do you work out today? I'm like, oh, I'm freaking tired. I'm going to bed. It's like, wah, 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 wah. You know, the, the yeah. whiny wife voice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right? Boom, 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 Charlie Brown. Perfect. Yeah, perfect example. And <laughs> at that point, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not working out again. Wow. And I just stopped. But, but good uh, for you. Stick it to the man. I was I was scared that you were going to say you know the day I stopped was the day day Dale Earnhardt died. Yeah. I just I couldn't take it no more. Dale Earnhardt died. I just I hadn't felt that empty inside since Elvis died. Yeah. No. No. I'm, that's interesting. Well, you you really sh I mean four or five five six months that's incredible to do that kind of routine that even that long. I mean we did uh, I'll tell you man the the first forty days of the. Uh, yeah, that's not me. <laughs> Sorry. The, the first 40 days of that, uh, uh, I did P90X. And P90X, I started at 252 pounds, and I ended at 213 pounds. You know, wow. and, and Yeah, it was... Uh, I lost from 252 down to 220 in the first 30 days of doing it. Wow. And it, it, the, the, pro, the, the, the great thing about it is, is, is it's a workout, and it's not a diet. It's not like you have to only eat 
you know, kelp, you know, for 30 days or something. Oh, Sean. <laughs> it's, Lord. hey, man, keep track of your fucking calories. Don't eat too much and uh, and watch what you eat. You know, right, keep, keep yeah. Keep under this much calories and, and eat healthy. Man, I tell you, man, if there's something that I miss from school, was that I had free reign to the, uh, to the rec, uh, the recreational. Mm-hmm. I swam for, like, for, like, all through school. Right. I would, I would go, like, two... Or try to three times a week, a week, and I'd go to like see how many laps I can get done within thirty minutes. Mm-hmm. I can usually get uh, like ten laps in, and like if I'm really, really efficient, I can get eleven in. Right. And I miss that so much because I do like I do tiny things. Like I I load film equipment into my car, and I feel like I'm like totally out of breath. And it's like, well, I graduated in 2012, and I haven't swam since, so it's yeah. like. <laughs> That's why. So I need to find myself a rec uh, center around here. That Lazy has indoor pool. Lazy. You don't even need, <laughs> need a rec center. You don't need a gym. No excuse I mean, for complacency. Right. <laughs> I mean, you know, the the videos like you can download any P ninety X and any Body Beast or whatever video you want to download. You can download them all for free. But it, the the biggest thing is. Is your diet is is ninety eight percent of everything is your diet now two percent is workout and then like if you want to add you know one percent to be a hundred one percent is your your attitude about it but it, your your diet is everything on on working out and mm-hmm. I, I get tired of like the like the Atkins diet you know it's like carry as much freaking protein as you possibly can into yourself right you know and, and no carbs well right. yeah you, yeah you'll lose weight that way because your body is not it's getting what dying. it needs yeah. yeah. <laughs> In, in vegetarianism, like if you're a vegetarian and that's your choice, whatever floats your boat, great. But um, trying to uh, to eliminate one thing out of your diet to lose weight is a terrible idea. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I've never agreed with it. People, hey, how do you find the only vegan at a party? How do you find the only vegan at the party? Don't worry, they'll tell you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> No offense to any vegans out there. <laughs> no, no, none in this room. No, I find all of them. Or to our, out to our viewers. So, Logan, you still haven't found it, have you? No, I haven't. I've given up, but I did find this really awesome video on uh, 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 shooting a nine millimeter into a uh, ice and letting it spin. <laughs> That's a great video. Are you serious? Nothing Come on. on. Right. At all, it's just spinning. It is spinning. Here's put it close up. No, it's really flat. Spinning, so people can well, see. Well, they shot it. But like that? They, they supposed to shot it. Good eye over there. Why is it spinning? How did they, video. How the did they get it to spin? They they've got a. Uh, Why would it? There, there's wires and there's a little. Uh, oh right. Uh, what do you? I don't know. Electric motor or magnet magnetron or something. You know, I forget what it's called. Sure you want to stand there? It's actually underneath the ice, right? And they buried it because they, uh, yeah. they, they sit there and spin it. Well, the lead bullet, they casted a piece of you know, iron inside the lead bullet to keep it spinning. This this right here will never happen. Of course, they're not going to do it. A hundred percent of the time, you will never yeah. shoot a bullet like this because lead is soft. Think about it. Lead is soft and jacketed by copper. Right, you know, full metal jacket, which means ja- jacketed by copper. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're firing it into a hard substance. Lead is mm. soft. It is going to impact it, and is going it's going to deform. Exactly. Right. It is not going to do it this. Would shatter. Ice, yeah. Ice is hard, but it is not that hard. Yeah. You know, this is this is a video to create views on YouTube. Is. is all it is. It's There's a lot of this. Retarded. Exactly. It's retarded to me. Yeah, they put like a sensational title on there, so you'll look. Just, yeah, and they get their this, ad revenue. This big bullet will change your life forever. Yeah. <laughs> and like, uh, one, what happened next? Drop my jaw. <laughs> one, one weird tip for to make a bullet spin forever. Like, have y'all seen the abs video? Uh, one uh, weird trick to uh, make six pack abs. Five weird trips to uh, walk your dog. It's like what? No, I don't know how many. Of those I walk is, my dog. It's like, <laughs> one weird tip. One weird trick. One weird. Blah 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 to to do whatever you want to do in life. <laughs> twenty five weird, uh, twenty five signs that you went to college. I need one sign. Yeah. I went to college. <laughs> uh, I mean, like I need one sign. I, uh, <laughs> I've got the bill. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, is there something else? Like, man, I this is one of the best videos I've seen. This, of course, you know the. Uh, 
You're doing high speed. You've seen these, I'm sure. Is this the porn? Uh, <laughs> it's high speed porn. It's bullet high speed. porn. It's that's, that's the new that's the, the new other, that's the other show we stream. Just fast forward. Matthew. Hi, ma'am. I'm done. They, they, they sound like the Smurfs. I get I get news. I get news <laughs> alerts. I sound like the Smurfs. Oh well, yes, it's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah. I get news alerts for uh, 360 cameras, and they go, "Yep, yeah, sure enough, somebody just got the the latest greatest camera for 360 to shoot porn." I was like, "Oh my, here we go." Yeah, that's where it all. <laughs> that's where it all gravitates towards, man. Yeah, hey, the, that's where all the great advancements come from. Mm-hmm. The, the camera that's that you the had got the, one. The, the C-Brain convertible. 360? Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Man, I, I was watching... You're like figuring out how they do that. Yeah, I was one, how they did that. And two, I'm like, how could I set up something in my home to view and, and make it like this? Like, do I need to put, put a freaking dome in my ceiling? There's Actually, there's a lot of different systems out there. And let me see if I can pull up the GoPro one. This one guy, get a GoPro going, and it was like... Um... um it's kind of hard to find because the, the the Go th- GoPro 360 has like freaking all these cameras, all these 360. Or it's like six cameras bundled up, but there's just one that's got like it's got a mirror. It uses one GoPro. It has a mirror. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. It's that's like, crazy. I see 360 or something. Uh, well, see, you're looking for something like this uh, right here. This thing. Uh, they haven't really came out with it yet, but it's like it's super small. It fits on a helmet, and it and it does 360. Um, but what we're after, and I'm trying to find it, it'd be something that looks like this, but it sits on a GoPro. And let me take a little bit more time to find it. Of course, I didn't shoot uh, the convertible uh, one that you saw uh, like that. There's another good example. Let me just see if I can type type it in and find it. It's a he GoPro. went to uh, Coachella one year with it. Yeah, he went to Coachella. Yeah, yeah, I saw that video. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you met Danny DeVito backstage. Yeah, yeah. he told you that at the. Uh, That's right. Well, told you that the GoPro was like, yeah, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. And he had no clue what it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was just looking at it. He was like, what is yeah, this? Yeah, thing? it's beautiful. And then who was that? The girl that was there is Antonio Banderas' his wife. Um, what's her name? Mm, I don't know. God, it's up chick that's never been in my kitchen. <laughs> what, is oh my God. what is that? Oh, no, what is Whoa. that? What was that? Uh... That's a deep slam. <laughs> no, nah, it was a uh... Melanie Griffith. No, nah, there were there were some TV. Is he married show... to Melanie Griffith. Melanie Griffith. That's it. Yeah, that's it. There were there was some TV show where uh, it was like Jeopardy, and, and and whatever character on the TV show went to Jeopardy, and it was like, oh, it was Cheers, and Norm was on there, and it's like. I was, you know, the, the, the man who, you know, rescued blah, 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 blah. And Norm goes, three men that have never never been in my my kitchen. Right? Three, and his answer was, three men that have never been in my kitchen. What? That was his answer for whatever Jeopardy that he was on in, in the movie, in a, a TV That's series. Funny. Cheers, so when I don't know stuff, I'm like, people that have never been in my kitchen. Or, yeah, it's, it's not wrong. <laughs> it's not wrong. You can't fault you for that. Not a single person has ever got that reference, and I'm waiting. Dude. Oh, Norm. You know, he did things right. We're all going to binge watch Cheers after this. There you go. <laughs> I loved it. He'd always come in and have some remark, you know, Norm! Hey, what are you up to, Norm? Uh, my ideal weight if I were 11 feet tall, you know? <laughs> always had something silly like that. I loved all his little, like, his facts about america or about the world or i don't remember a single one of them but it would always be some kind of fact that was completely you know 100 percent wrong <laughs> cliff was always yeah he was always way off all of his that's what it was cliff it wasn't cliff, cliff yeah cliff yeah, it was cliff that went on, on jeopardy it was like three men have, three men who have never been in my kitchen they ended up being the founding fathers of america who were the founding fathers of america? <laughs> Oh, you know what, Logan? By the way, what's that? I'm gonna purchase that uh, that Google uh, cardboard for you. I got it. You got He's it. He's got it, man. Got I've already it. worn it. You Where have you it? been? <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, I'm glad I said something to you because I was just about to buy it because you said, "Soden, get that uh, Google car- uh, cardboard." That's right. Buy it for me. Like, uh, okay. No, I've got it, dude. It's you awesome. You got it. Yeah. 
You got it hooked up to your cell phone and all? Yeah, have you tried it? I haven't, no. You haven't how how much was the thing, Logan? Was it? I it's like it, 25 Jenny bucks. Got the, Jenny oh, got, that's cheap. Yeah, Jenny got the fancy one. It wasn't cardboard. Oh, really? Fancy Posers. Fancy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> posers. Uh, let me go grab it. Yeah, you'll check it out. But, um, yeah, it, it, basically, th- they've kind of updated it since the uh, Oculus came out, but you can actually plug in a, a USB, you know, your... K, uh, uh, controller? Controller, so you can play video games with a controller, you know. Wow. Of course, you have to figure out how to strap that how do you? Yeah, there, how right? do you strap it to your... I don't know, head. there's Suck. lots of different apparatus, I... Crazy. <laughs> That's insane, man. Oh, there are four different models you can buy. Oh, there's a ton, man. Left and right, they're coming out like, like left and right. Tons of them. Oh, are you loading up oh, your? There's um, an aluminum cardboard view. Crazy. There's an aluminum oh, one. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's intense. <laughs> to feel the That's intense. Hmm. Weird. This music. Where did you get this I, music from? I just pulled some music as fast as I could somewhere. Uh, basically, this is that 360 thing. Well, the, the, this guy's got a new website, and um, he's he's trying to overtake, um, you know, uh, YouTube's situation on you know providing Little Star. That's what this site is called, right? But there's certain issues with you know, like well, I was just trying to think about this this morning. The resolution of the video, and then um, issues with like there's no volume. Um, I can't turn. I can't mute it, and um, you could, you know, pause and start it, and it accommodates whatever screen resolutions. But also the fact that uh, my, Matt, you're actually seeing this, right? You can't zoom in. It's locked, yeah. it's a locked in aspect right here, but um, you can actually see me down there. Uh, it's a locked in aspect, but it, it works on your phones, which is cool. Well, that is that is cool. It, it it works with the the look around, right? That's right. Move your phone around and you look to where you ever where you are. Yeah. One day I'll be able to shoot an entire film with the proper camera. I've yet to have a proper camera to shoot all this stuff with. One day. But I've got yeah, one day when the bunch of one day. Right. That's right. So Matt, you're actually seeing a little video of this and it's just ten second delay, huh? Yeah, I'm just seeing a weird delay. Um but that this is strange. You know, this is kind of reminds me. It looks just like Google Street View, and uh, those <laughs> jerks. Those jerks went by my house when I was outside watering oh, off. Really? That's right. Yeah, and I look like ass. So I saw them drive by, and I went, "Oh God!" You know, I wanted to chase them down and offer them money to come back and do it again because I looked. I just wanted to go inside, so I wasn't. Uh, no, I'm there. <laughs> so now Google Street View has me like wearing these shorts with my pasty white legs. Now that you've said that, I've got to go see it now. It's very, it's, it's terrible. And then, you know, over time, more and more people keep texting me the picture. Oh, you run street views. Yeah, I know I was standing there. That's insane. You know? But that's, I mean, how rare is that? It's unscheduled. I've seen, I've seen some that like, uh, that like, I've seen some Google street view images of like people that know that they're coming. And then like, there's one that's in like this old timey car, old timey car, like 1920s car. And he has like a, a, a leather jacket and a white scarf around and he has goggles on the hat and he's driving oh, like this. The coolest guy on street view. The coolest guy on street view. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that is awesome. Yeah. It was, it's crazy. Yeah. If you saw them coming, you could do all kinds of fun. I mean, fun things. Yeah. Uh, you know, I guess I'd put like an American flag on my roof, like, you know, eight by 12 and just stand out front. And just, you know, <laughs> I don't know. That, I don't know. Something weird like that. But. I, you know, whenever I'm like extremely bored, I just turn on street view and I just like go somewhere that I've never been before. Yes. And I just start like walking around. Like I, 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 I actually, I went to, um, I found Iraq on the map. And I went to the Street View, and I actually found the street that has those, um, that has the statues of the swords over the street. Oh, crazy. Yeah, I actually found that street. I'm like, this is, that's insane. And so, like, then another time I, like, went to Miami, and I was, like, driving over the bridge in Miami, which I've never really, I, I've been to Miami, but only the airport, which I don't really think should count. And like yeah, people that yeah. say, oh yeah, well, we've I've all been, been, been to exotic locales. I've been to every state. It's like you've been to the airport. Shut up. Um, <laughs> but, uh, exactly. Yeah. But they're but, doing that now. Like they they did uh, 
you can get on street view and go down the Colorado river now, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? yeah all these Colorado for wow. hundreds of miles. Wow. That's wild. It's weird. But, but that goes along what you were talking about, David, uh, seeing, uh, just going to seeing places you've never seen. That is, right. that is kind of one of the miracles of, of the modern age. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've, um, uh, for a while they were having like, for a while they had like Google images that would like pop up. Like you would look at the map and then you can like click a Google image and then there would be like an image that would pop up of the location of where it was. Yeah. And so there's this, um, my, my parents own a cabin in Colorado. Uh, we're kind of in the Southern Southeastern mountains. And we uh, have not been invited. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. Well, you know, you, you know, your invitation got lost in the mail. Oh, right. that happened. <laughs> Damn mail system. No okay. Evens. So, um, <laughs> so, um, so at any rate, so I was looking at uh, our cabin on the map, and then I saw a video popped up, and there is a video of a train ride that goes right through our park area, and there is a train that travels right from Walsenburg, Colorado, to Alamosa, Colorado, and our cabin is kind of like somewhere in between the middle, but the train goes through our land park. Uh, and so uh, there was like a, a video popped up of the train ride and it had a full like a uh, 30 minute train ride concession uh, no uh, train ride of driving through our town, ta- our van, our town. I was like, oh, holy cow. Uh, Stephen, man, check this that's out. That's my, that's my place. He was out front of his house when the Google car came by. Hey, that's not nice. <laughs> that's him. There he is. He got caught. Look at that door. What is going on there? His I, face has been blurred to protect the innocent. I could have, if I would have, I would have at least sucked in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, you can't miss that vehicle because the, the camera rig is—I don't know—it's probably that ten is, feet off the ground. Well, well done, well done. So Matt. I didn't like. I looked up after that exact millisecond and that's when i saw it yeah, and i went ah oh, shit you know <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna progress one more to see if i can see you looking up which way was it going down the, down your road it was going uh to your left if you're looking at me so oh i hadn't thought about that because eventually yeah, they would have caught it yeah you're probably i mean yeah i saw it in the corner of my eye when it went by and i went well, it was it. it was going back to the main road basically no, I was going away from the main road. Okay, so that's... But that camera rig is, it's pretty impressive, that, no. that stalk that it sits on. It, does yeah. it sit, like, right on top of the van? No, there's another issue I it see. It was like a Prius, and it, yeah, it was just this, it's stuck about four feet up over the, the roof of the car. Wow. And, uh, there's another issue that I see here in the images, though, and it's it's these tracks. Um, and there besides was like, my ugly legs? What? No, no, these these tracks in the middle of the road. They appear that it's right outside your driveway. It's like you were doing yes. burnouts. Yeah, doing- I came out there one day and found those, and I. Uh, it sucks because... Uh, How could you not hear that? Well, and you know what really sucks is that I didn't hear it, and I didn't get to see it because my cameras only record like four days. Because oh, I wanted to go back and see what the heck happened. You know, what happened? But, oh, uh, yeah. Let's see, did you? Still had I still haven't seen you look up. It's so funny. It only took like four pictures before it left the. I think I just glanced up and just went, "Oh shit!" You know. Just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I said the. Are yeah, we are we some... allowed to say wordy dirts on this? Yes, you can say whatever. Yeah, you can say whatever you want. That's insane, man. And that's the car that has has gone now. Sold that one. Uh, yes. <laughs> I wish I hadn't. I missed that truck. It's a tender, tender subject. It is very, it's very sore right now. That's right. You had a, uh, did you have a car when we saw you? Last well, I time? still have that car and believe it or not, it's clean, Soden. Oh, it's clean. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you oh, would not, well, clean guy. compared to the state you saw it in. <laughs> clean we, is relative. We need to, uh, we need to get together and, and smoke a cigar sometime. The, the cigar is still back there. <laughs> So, so we'll whenever you're ready, up, we'll just go and grab it. Yeah, okay. That when I found great. it, when I found it, I just laughed so hard because I thought, "Oh, poor Soden, you know, having to sit back here in this filth." <laughs> because I said that you were kind of like scoffed over it, like, uh, "Oh, no, yeah, okay, sure, whatever." And I was like, no. "Yeah, I, th- I think I thought you were making it up." <laughs> I should have said, "That's a turd, boy." <laughs> I sling him back there like a monkey. That's uh, that's 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 funny. <laughs> A funny story, we were driving around in his car. Uh, I work with Matthew. Matthew, that was like a couple months ago, I think. Um, 
we were working a job, and then we went out to go get some food afterwards, and I rode in the back seat of his car, and I found a stogie that was in, like, a kind of like a cubby in the, the door, and I was like, man, you have a, a cigar back here? He's like, oh, I'll, 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 I don't know. So I'm like, well, well, all right. Should have offered you a match. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it only made me yearn for a cigar more. You know, I've only, I've started, like, smoking cigars like recently like within like the past like four or five uh, months been like having like a cigar a month and i freaking ah, love it so there's, it's probably my fault cause... there's a place there's a place that's in fort worth and i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna uh um ruin their name it's got, i think it's pronounced hartley's huntley's uh cigar shop it's over on the corner of uh hewlin and granberry it yes, has, it's called uh, uh, Hathaway's. Yeah. Hathaway's? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is yeah. a really good place. Dude, I love that place. You can get, like, a good cigar there for, like, five bucks. It's yeah. awesome. And it's their own brand, you know? Yeah, they, they uh, make it themselves. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 they make it themselves. They got the, a sweaty Cuban the in the one, back? That, <laughs> that you gotta, Several. You got to make friends with no. the owners there before you uh, before you ask for those. Um, but, um, but no, like, there's one that I buy there that's like, what do you have on the screen? <laughs> dancing. It ain't very cigars. Yeah, it's very distracting. This Logan's is the, yeah, it's a, it's a distracting me. It's, this is, I mean, it's working. The dress is amazing. <laughs> this is, uh, the first segment of the freaking, uh, uh oh, the 360, 360 porn. porn. Yeah. Porn. yeah. That is, that's what I got. In this the show this has the, the viewership just escalated by <laughs> yeah, right. two thousand viewers. <laughs> yeah. All right, back to cigars. Uh, it went from negative right. five somehow. Right, cigars. <laughs> um, so <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're not but, even watching it. But uh, but but yeah. Speak for um, yourself. <laughs> you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Good times, um, but um, but yeah. So, but yeah, yeah. There's a cigar that I like there that's like dipped in cognac. That's like for five bucks. Ooh, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's freaking awesome, and it lasts. It lasts a long time. It's like a long smoke. It doesn't like burn out too easily, and it always stays lit. It doesn't, yeah, they roll like, them tight, huh? They roll them tight, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they really do. They really do. And uh, it depends on the different out, like the different cuts that you get on the bottom uh, that uh, gets you the best draw from it. But yeah, but at, at any rate, I like cigars. Okay. Well, we should go there. I mean, we should go there sometime because yeah, I like be, the fact they have the lounge and you can kind of hang yeah, out. Yeah, you smoke can. You can more. buy like you can get like a six pack and just like lay in a couple couches and smoke cigars and drink and. And, I'd to broadcast yeah, this the next episode of this show yeah. from the line. That would be awesome. Wouldn't that be great? It's like wine. Cigars and cognac and Wouldn't just... It, and, a, and broadcast but, a show. But, yeah, that sounds Wouldn't great. Wouldn't that be awesome? We'll do it, but I, we have to be, smoke that, grass. We'll have to great. a, a, a Colorado special card. Oh, uh, we have to... Uh, well, well, we could We're make a Colorado, road trip. Right? Huh? Road We're trip. We're in Colorado, aren't we? Huh? Right. That's right. Very yeah. Line them up. <laughs> That's right. Sure, so that would be great to go do. We should ask. We should ask go down there. And, uh, we really should. That would be so cool. And then start asking for you know halfway into the interview, we, we need free cigars. <laughs> there you go. What so if, the cameras and lights? What but, if? Where, where's your? Hope they don't watch this episode. What? What How if? How are we gonna do a video we, without? We're live right now. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't like, say. You understand that? They couldn't There's say no. Thousands and thousands of viewers. What if we make a commercial for them and we play it before, in the middle, and then brought to you by Hot Laser, yeah, uh, or something yeah, you like that? Yeah, should come down here right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come and join the broadcast. Well, it's like I was trying to get your guy to do that. Uh, oh, uh, Nick to do that. Um, what was that show at, at Mambo's, Mambo's? Right. I mean, they had everything set up for a great Tonight Show. So there's this Mambo's place downtown Fort Worth, and it's right behind the Panther, the, the statue. Mambo's is a is a bar. Right. And for crying out loud, they have a band there. This guy used to have a web show there, and he brought in his cameras. He did everything. So it's the, the way it's set up, it's like it's this great bar everybody goes to, and they have a stage with a band. And off to the side, you can have a desk, just like a Tonight Show. I'm like, that's right. like perfect. Right. And my and I produce a uh, kind of like a, uh, a semi-variety uh, show, a uh, webisode show that we have uh, do like an episode a month. 
between myself and my buddy Nick. And uh, he he likes to have like he he like does skits and he uh, he uh, goes out and has like a, a segment called the drink of the night where we go out to a bar and we find a drink that we like and we feature that bar and then we. That's a great band. idea. Yeah, yeah, it's a really cool idea. What's and, it called? Uh, it's, it's called it's called the show show and if the you, show show if you uh, search Vimeo uh, the show show. You'll be able to find it, and then I I produce the show, and we uh, we make like an episode a month, and we feature a bar, we feature drinks, we feature bands, we feature filmmakers, we have try to have interviews. We had an interview with Libby Wills the last episode, who uh, ran for um ran for uh, what did she? Run I have for? no idea what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> Libby Wills. Libby Wills. She ran for something uh, in this last election and That's lost good. to a uh, to a Rep- Republican. Uh, oh my gosh! In which everybody did this last election. But um, but uh, but yeah, yeah. We have like a we have like a cool show, and we try to make because Nick wants to have like an audience type show, variety show where he has skits in front of an audience and stuff like that. And I, we tried to convince him to do this show at Mambo's, but he didn't want to do that. So, Idiot. Uh, uh. Esoteric <laughs> Productions. Uh, uh-oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Esoteric He's Productions. You got it, Matt. You got it, So, man. episode nine, a half-assed turkey surprise. <laughs> <laughs> episode seven, Ben's drinking causes a crappy clip show. <laughs> Matt, I would love to have you as your, as our opening announcer. I'd love to do it. I'd love to do it. I'm going to check all these out as soon as I'm through watching this 360 degree point. I would love that. Would be great. That would be awesome. You have a uh, you have a like um, a Saturday Night Live uh, uh, type voice, satirical voice. kind of. Yeah, that guy finally retired. By the way, I, um, I think he died though, didn't he? He Did he finally? Oh, that's he terrible. Died, yeah, I mean, that's because he was doing. Uh, he got to where he was so old. He was doing the show from his home. Right. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah. so he passed away. Yeah, yeah, he passed away this year, and I think Don uh, Pardo, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I know that because I was watching the Golden Globes, and they had like, uh, they had like their memoriam people who died that. Oh, uh, okay. And he was uh, listed in that. You know, Turner Classic Movies does that too. They, they did one. They do. Uh, the, at the end of every year, they do this little video to kind of, you know, remember all the movie stars and producers who died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And God, it gets really sad sometimes. Man, it's, it's... You know, the last one had Robin Williams. It oh, had man. Shirley Temple. Yeah, yeah. You know, Shirley, Shirley Temple's Temple, dead? Yeah. Jesus. Man. What's the world come to? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Logan. In, all, in, in, in the... I can't remember the... The, the 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 crew the the kids with all the with the, the dog with the circle on the eye what's his name what, what, come on those kids oh the little rascals, the little rascals yeah, the they're rascals. all gone they're really? all dead now oh no Buck was dead man <laughs> oh no <laughs> but, I love uh, that is not Ote that's sad <laughs> oh that's so sad sad Ote now are all the uh, are all the uh, midge- all, all, all the uh, not don't say midgets? That's not the appropriate word. That's not we're we're a very PC show. What's the appropriate here, nomenclature? We're not are a all PC the show. Uh, what are all the, the little the little guys from the Wizard of Oz? Are the they all the carnies? The carnies. Right? They got small hands. <laughs> <laughs> Smell like <laughs> tunnels. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good night, everybody. You know, Logan is slightly related to the Munchkins. The Munchkins from the Somebody, Wizard of Oz. Are they all alive, right. or are they? Oh, yeah, Logan, has a, Logan and I have a relative that was in The Wizard of Oz. Yes. Get out of town. No, what? Keep in mind, this is, okay, there's there's three red-headed uh, ballerinas in the Munchkin land. She I'm listening. She's a small person or midget, whatever you like to call her. Got She's my like, attention so far. Five foot ten, <laughs> four eleven, something like that. Oh, yeah. She is one of the ballerinas. Well, wow. You know, I, I'm like six three, and Logan, how tall are you? Yeah, I'm six. I'm about six three, six four. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're we're both the same. You know, pretty close. I mean, we're we're tall guys, and this is our our lineage. Is somebody in our family is <laughs> yeah, that's right. part of the Munchkin land? Yeah, that's I'll crazy. Be. Yeah, it's one of our you know great 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 aunts or second remote whatever aunt right. or whatever. But yeah, she's you know bloodline aunt of ours. And- <laughs> that, does anybody in the family have any of her memorabilia or? The yeah, to a movie deal. Her, yeah, her, her, yeah. I don't think so. You got real clippy there, man. Well, that would be fascinating. Yeah, what happened was basically, I actually went out and, and saw relatives uh, out. It was, I guess, it was our grandfather's uh, uh, sister. And what happened was, when I went out and met him in California, we were just in California, so I happened to be, and I was like, 
well, let's look them up. And we went up there, and they were just, like, so happy we were there. We spent, like, an hour there. And we're like, well, is there any photos you want to get rid of? We actually sold them at a, a, at a garage sale. Oh, <laughs> no. Isn't that crazy? Oh, People no. sell pictures at garage sales? Yeah, sure. family pictures. Of course, you know, it's... Who, she was who wants off. that? Well, she was married. Oh, I don't know. Some anti- she goes all these antique people and the ones that sell antiques. They just love having these photographs of people. So, yeah, oh. our, all, all these photographs are gone. But she had a few that was still there. And... Uh, but they were kind of getting out of it too. You could tell, like, yeah. I think they just forgot what we just asked them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> have you ever met my aunt Linda? Yeah, I think so. So my aunt Linda, she she every picture she ever comes across in her life, she saved. Okay. Her entire house is full of photograph albums and photographs, which is great when you go there. But it, it's like books and books, and and I'm the one inheriting all of this. Uh-oh. She's told me, it's like, oh. you're, you're my special relative. You're, oh, you're no. I'm the one that gets it all. So, I'm like, <laughs> in a digital, I, I was sitting there in my phone the other day. I was switching out memory cards. Yeah. You know, my, my SD memory card is this big. You know, 32 gigabytes. Yeah. And yeah. they make bigger yeah. than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That 32 gigabyte card can probably hold every single photo she's ever taken. Yeah. Yeah, it can. It, That's it crazy. Can. Very you know? high resolution. It so, can't. So why do I have to have what an did entire I, house? What did I read? Photos? I read right. the other day that one of these tiny, like I think, like even a sixteen gig micro SD card can hold five thousand nine hundred and ninety nine five and a half inch floppy disks. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's uh, crazy, and it's smaller than a penny. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. And just like the video I upload on Facebook, it's been ten years, and the computer still boots up the same way. Yeah. The yeah, same amount of time. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, you're right. It's or sometimes longer. Depending yeah, on which... I saw. Uh, you ever watch TED Talks? Yeah, 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 I watched those. So I watched the TED Talk, and they were talking about that. And it, within the next about ten to fifteen years, we'll have a storage device so small that it'd be about the size of a thumb drive, and it will store all of human information on it. It, oh, it, wow. it could possibly store that much. Jeez. Jeez. Talking about multiple terabytes of information. Well, I even heard that they're downloading people's neuron pathways. Which is basically downloading their brain, right? But right. you have to de- decipher what that what you've downloaded. Yeah. All right, now it sounds like coast to coast. Now it- <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, that's broken right. The barrier. That's no, right. But you're, no, I, I, George Normie. Yeah, that is- that's what his name is. George, George Normie. Normie. That's right. Re- that's what his name is. Just popped into my head. Um, <laughs> how many? How many hours long later? Um, Real quick. There's that? one Munchkin left. There's one Munchkin left. Yeah, Jerry Marin. The only confirmed surviving cast member of Wizard of Oz. So, oh, he's ninety-five years old. So anyway, man, there's a useless piece of information. Jeez. <laughs> oh, there is coast to coast. I Logan just that old, Logan right? just let it up the side. Yeah, you ha- you actually found that uh, information there, George um, Norby. Uh, Matt. Yeah, I, I I couldn't I couldn't let it go. <laughs> I had to know. <laughs> I had to know. <laughs> Internet answered this for me now. Now, what's kind of scary is is that a few months ago I thought there were three surviving ones because I do check the, check on this every once in a while. So that's sad. Oh okay. Oh. Have you have you guys heard of the uh, uh, the hole in the North Pole? The hole in the North no. Pole. That was one of the other ones that they're they're saying that. We've never actually seen the North Pole, and because satellite... Well, it's a huge ice. Right. Well, they're saying that, like, satellite can't penetrate, you know, if you look at... Because these guys have this conspiracy that that's the center of the Earth. That's where that's where basically the Nazis got lost, and uh, that's where Hitler is, you know. That's the inner Earth theory. Jeez. And and they're backed up because they're like, well, if you look at any satellite shot of the North Pole, it's all jacked up. Like they're patched over, and it's because it's the North Pole. Uh huh. But <laughs> you never heard of that. No, <laughs> you know, you know. Actually, what that reminds me of. What? Oh God, I can't remember the name of the movie. Uh, Nazis at the center of the. Nazis at the center of the earth. Close. <laughs> uh, like, close. Yeah. Close. I saw was it. Nazi- I saw a movie. Oh, the, there was, no, a, it was, it was at the Nazis center of the earth. at the center of the earth or something like that. What? It was it a took horror place movie? in like Antarctica. You really? didn't make that up. Is that true? There's a movie called Nazis at the center of the earth. <laughs> Nazis at the center of the earth. I think you're right. Yes. <laughs> I think it's actually c- kind of current. It is the worst movie you've ever seen in the history of movies. <laughs> Holy Gary crap! Busey's it's. Son, I think is in it. Oh, it was made in 2012. You're looking it up? 
Yeah, I was yeah. thinking it was some kind of fifties flick, but it's no. actually a here's a uh, official trailer. Is it worse than Sharknado? Yes. It's I'm worse sorry. than Sharknado. It is My so God. bad you have to watch it. Wow. This would be what if aliens were looking for We're us. This would be what they'd see first, probably. Yeah. And they just turn around and not come back. <laughs> who gets? Who gives these people money to make this dread? Where's the yeah? Where's the green light for all our projects? Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. Doctor Joseph. Mengele. What is this about though? Is it just? Is it just? There's an underground. Uh, no. A group of fans who just want to see the dumbest movie they can see. Is it like a fun? <laughs> Going to dive bars or whatever, just oh, let's watch a really stupid movie. Yeah, there's Gary Busey's song. Yeah. So the, the the premise of the movie is Hitler. Jake, is, like Hitler had yeah, Jake Busey. Uh, is that his name? Oh. Jake Busey? Is that right? I don't know. Yeah, who's is that? His son or something? Son. Yeah, it's Gary Busey's son, which was in oh, uh, that Spawn of Busey. Holy shit! Yeah. Um. So the the premise is, you know, if you if you study anything about Hitler, Hitler was into some like really like trying to find the Holy Grail, trying to find the Ark of the Covenant, trying to do some real crazy stuff. Hmm. So he did send Nazis, you know, to, you know, uh, the North Pole and the South Pole to try to find, you know, you know, a Valhalla or something. I don't always look for, but so he gets down there and the premise of the movie is, is Hitler sent all his star generals down to Antarctica. They found a hole that led to, you know, inner earth. And they had been ma amassing this great army to take over the planet when they got ready. But they gave all the soldiers uh, serums and stuff to make them basically zombies. Right? So when they come back, they're all like skeletons and all fucked up looking and crazy looking and stuff. <laughs> and the skin's falling off their faces and wow. they're still alive. But my, my buddy sent me the... Uh, the, the, the link to it and I watched it one night I was like why did I watch this it's one of those <laughs> oh man it's like the crazy YouTube video you start watching yeah. it like 26 minutes later you're like why am I watching this <laughs> what was the one that you guys were talking about before we got started what was that one? Oh, it was uh, uh, freaking Robocop, Robocop. Yeah, I, Robocop man, man, you, the dicks off oh yeah, yeah. Man, yeah hang on hang on before we get started uh, Iron Sky you have to see Iron Sky Iron Sky this is this one's actually comical. Iron Scott. It is cr it's crazy awesome. I saw this totally smashed at South by one year, and it was well. No wonder you thought experience. it was awesome. It was a great experience. It was smashed. It was smashed. Iron was. Scott. So you, that's you, you give an official two thumbs up on that. Automatic two thumbs up. Yeah. Cool. Nazis this, on the moon. This is much easier to look at than Jake Busey. <laughs> so like Mr. Gross's halitosis. Yeah. Is, what he looks like, <laughs> Mr. Gross is out. Just that, you know. That, Sarah like, Palin. Huh? Yeah, oh, that, yeah, Sarah Palin. Yeah, they had a Sarah, Sarah Palin character. Yeah, she is the president in, in the movie, I think. I feel Are you kidding me? Is, have have y'all seen the, the the porn actress that looks like Sarah Palin? Oh no! no. Uh, a pretty good. Of course one. not. It, it, it's almost spot not. on. Yeah, I mean, I, I listen to Howard Stern right every now and then. Yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. when I have a uh, when I had a company truck, I listened to it all the time. Well, now I'm listening, she you know, to it again. Awesome. Does she? Did she was on the show? Was she on the show? The, 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 yeah, the Sarah Palin look alike was. No and she great. Looks just like her, and she's she doesn't match the voice 100, percent you know. But it, it's like wow. I'm looking it up right now. That's crazy. Nalen Palin. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yeah. This bitch. Yeah. That is like the go man, Matt. You were like the Google that wizard. Movie was awesome. <laughs> I'm the what? Awesome. The, the Google wizard. The Google Wizard. Like, well, I, you know, I can't be there with you, so I've got nothing else to do. I made up Nalen Palin. <laughs> well, is that? I, no, I, I can't just, find it. just Sarah Palin. Just porn. type in Nalen Palin. <laughs> oh, <it> comes up. <laughs> yeah. Watch Sarah out. Palin porn, and yeah, it's got a porn actress. Holy looks, crap! It's real. Yeah, man, she looks a lot. I mean, the the, the scene I'm thinking of in my head looked. At, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not something I should be. It's not PG thirteen, but I can tell you're thinking of it over there. Yeah. Where would I find? Where would I? Wait, find? is it that just, bottom just one? Sarah is it that porn. bottom right? Is that that bottom right? Am I yeah, the only one seeing yeah. that? Now, what, what does her husband do? Yeah, it's sorry, in the viewers. There? Uh, I'm not seeing it. I see, I see a lot of Photoshop. Hey, hey Matt, can you do a legal disclaimer real quick for our? Our broadcast. Yeah, please, please. Yeah, do it. Yeah. The Southern Logan Show is not responsible for any childhood trauma or necessary therapy that derives from the content we view. Something like that. 
Awesome. That's perfection. The views and opinions expressed by the Soden Logan Show are complete horse horseshit. Hog shit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The Soden Logan Show. Yeah, there you awesome. Go. That's the uh, the Sarah Palin look like. Wow. You just keep it PG. I'm gonna keep it clean. All right, I wasn't gonna look, but I'm gonna look. Sarah Palin look like. <laughs> you're gonna yeah. You're. Logan's I was trying to keep right us, now. you know. I don't know if you can see what Logan's got up, but obviously this this picture has been photoshopped a little bit. To yeah, who knows? Look like I mean, her, but, but yeah, I can see. I, I, I've seen live footage of the chicken man with the glasses and the hair done up. I mean, she's she's a younger version of Sarah Palin. Wow. Now, I did see a show like, Holy shit. Uh, with the cable guy. Larry the cable guy was doing a show, and it just so happens that uh, one of the guys he was talking to was Sarah, Pal- uh, Sarah Palin's husband. And we're like, no, he's not. And then all of a sudden, you, the camera whips around, and there's Sarah Palin. Like She doesn't want to be on camera. And she's like, ah, oh, go, uh, hi! And then she yeah. runs away. <laughs> like her you political... Mean, you mean the Duke? <sighs> yeah. The Duke, like the... Uh, the uh... What do you call him? The the the, the eyes, um, he's a hockey player, I think. Yeah, yeah. Don't you know? Don't oh you know? Gosh. There you go. That's yeah. it. Don't you know? Don't you know? <laughs> Maverick like or she's whatever. From Wisconsin yeah. or something. Maverick. That's why I could never date her, man. I mean, it's like, ugh, that that accent just drives me nuts. <laughs> well, oh, there's Larry. There's Larry another, the Cable Guy. There's another. Uh, uh, what was that movie? Um, that. Uh, Good old oh, crap. You I know, can't remember that's an interesting thought. What? What? What do you got, Soden? What do you got? That's an interesting thought. You know, I was hearing, um, I was hearing, uh, uh, David Cross was talking about, uh, Larry the Cable Guy, and he was reading his book, Larry the Cable Guy's book, and he was saying that, uh, that the Larry the Cable Guy persona is a sti- is a shtick. He can yeah. turn it off and turn it on. It's a character. It's a character with, uh, like, the turn of, turn of a dime. Because at the end of, uh, I remember seeing that at the end, what was that Kings of Comedy thing they did? That oh, big uh, no, DVD they had. At the I very end, he broke blue character. Blue-collared comedy, right? What was it? Blue-collared comedy? Blue-collar comedy. Yeah, yeah. Blue-collar comedy. yeah. At the yeah, end of the like DVD, he broke he was character for like them. two seconds. Oh, right, right. Look, yeah. Look, look up YouTube, look up Larry the Cable, or whatever Larry the Cable guy's name is. And look it up on YouTube, and then there's a video of him not doing. He's a stand-up comedian. He's not doing the the, the character. His no, shit, really? Way. Yeah, he's just his normal, normal voice. And he, I, I tell a lot of people, y'all ever listen to Sinbad stand-up comic? Mm-hmm. Sinbad is. I want you to go. You know what? I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm just gonna. I don't want to spend my entire career. And then when it's over with, Uh-oh. I didn't I'm not enjoy hearing it. anything, guys. Sorry, that's not what? It. Yeah, that's like the cable guy, but that's not his. Okay, Daniel has, Lawrence Whitney. He has a mullet in the video. Like Who's it's like the most the popular 80s. comedian? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can see it up there. No, no, uh, that's right. It would be a uh, real voice. Yeah, I mean he's he's holding the mic. He's got a mullet, and he's just like telling regular jokes and stuff. And he's you know, he's somewhat funny, but he's not like you know. He's not great. He's not his now, persona. Have you discovered, uh, I'm sending you the I'm sending you the link, Logan. Kenny Powers. Yes, you've you've seen it. Yep. Isn't that amazing? But some haven't seen it yet. I haven't. No. I was blown away by how they put that show together because, of course, you're like, okay, this is just going to be like uh, that one show that's uh, that's uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, the guy had to repay all of his debts because he won he, he won the lottery that he got ran yeah, over. Um, uh, hmm? My name is Earl. Yeah, my name is Earl. See, I thought oh, it was going to yeah. be like that. I was like, man, this is another my name is Earl. But it's different. Yeah. He's going to be in Denton this next month. What's his name? His Danny, I, uh, um, Is that right? Am I thinking of the right guy? No. No, he was in those... Uh, his, uh, he was in those... Um, uh, he was in the Jay and Silent Bob. Uh, yeah, Chris... Chasing Amy. Yeah, he was in those um, Kevin Smith movies. Oh. Jeff, No. I just saw a thing. He's going to be in Denton for uh, the Thin Line Film Fest for a... Um, Jason for... Lee. Jason Lee. Yeah, Jason Lee is yeah, going to be... that's Brody. He's going to be at the uh, Thin Line, and he's going to be at... Be here, I'll tell you, you know, my... Uh, I just went uh, to visit my... Uh... Weeks. Was that it? That's Larry the Cable Guy. Yeah. Okay, that's insane. That's Larry the Cable Guy. He doesn't look... Grandma, she's got Alzheimer's disease. Try to put her in a home. Uh, it's a nice place. It's called... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> she laughed when I you can still see some similarities. Oh, 
Hey. He's lost it. Like, he doesn't have the southern voice. On Weird. Thing. Yeah. Mm. Grandma, you know, like, that's just that's what I was just thinking about. I was just thinking about how um, Larry the Cable Guy is a shtick, much like the same way that um, the Duck Dynasty people do. Right. Oh, yeah. The difference Total between fraud. the Duck Dynasty people is that they try to act like it's not a shtick, and that it's right. really them. But you see photos of them like years prior in Florida with short shorts and short hair. Like on the beach and they look all preppy. Right, yeah. Yeah. I just thought that's such an interesting And I heard that the hunting show thought. the hunting show was better. Like if you, you saw so you were telling me show. about the hunting show. You were telling me I about seen that. It though, but I said it was better. Like Commander or something like that. Yeah, but it was called yeah. It was like it was funnier than the reality show. But I guess it's because it was focused on hunting and the, the bantering at the yeah. end. It depends on your view, man. I really enjoy Duck Dynasty because it's it's one of those shows like there's certain. I've what got do you four, enjoy about it? Because I've got I'm a four and a six year old at home, boys. <laughs> mm-hmm. and if they're flipping through the channels and they end up a Duck Dynasty, I don't care if they watch it. Mm-hmm. There but, you go, family. But, yeah, there are some things like they. It's like, something you feel like they can watch. Yeah, and I don't have to monitor the whole thing. Yeah, you know, and and the mm. reason it's not because I want to shelter them from exposure to the world. Right, it's because at this age they don't need to like. My four year old doesn't need to know how sex happens. Right. Yeah. He just yeah. needs to know mommy and daddy get close and then the baby comes out eventually. That's right. his understanding of it. I don't need to go into details of, you know, what all we know is details for for sex. You yeah. Know? That's one of those shows that my four year old can sit down and watch if he wants to watch it. I'm like. You, know, you feel like you can tune out and do whatever yeah, you need I mean, you can, and not worry it. about it, yeah. or or cart, you know certain cartoons or stuff. But there's there's certain TV shows that have innuendos in them, and I'm like, right, I don't yeah. even have to explain it. this to a four year old. Yeah, yeah, I can explain it to him when he's twelve. I'll take him out in the shop and I'll tell him all about how sex happens and the birds and the bees and and what to do, what not to do. You know, but that's fine. But at a, at huh. certain ages, you that's know, and an I, interesting I like, thought. Yeah, yeah, that's an interesting thought. That's an interesting thought. I, I haven't really thought your, about that before. Like, you, you don't have kids, right? I don't, no, no. So, so imagine having a four I'm still the swinging bachelor, ladies. <laughs> oh yeah, God, there that? you go. Soden's available. Facebook, yes. Soden. This <laughs> Oh, my God. Are you plugging him? <laughs> yeah, I am. Anyway. Trying to help a brother out. <laughs> Good man. Good man. <laughs> you should be a regular on the show. <laughs> We should have another show called That's Hooking a good it up guy with right there. Hooking yeah. it up. Suiting. <laughs> yeah, uh, just, just imagine, anyway. like, for, for anybody that doesn't have a child, imagine having a four-year-old and having them watch a show and trying to explain what went on in that show to your four-year-old. Regardless of your public views, your whatever views you have, religious, not religious, you know, political views, whatever, mm-hmm. try to explain it to a four-year-old. Yeah, you know, and and, and I'll give you the, mm-hmm. the exact example I gave to a buddy of mine one time mm-hmm. that uh he broke the law, he breaks the law all the time, or he did, you know, he's, he's a criminal. I'm like, try to explain to your son what you do and why you do it, and see if your four year old son understands you. He doesn't, and at that point you're like, man, I, I don't I don't want my son watching that stuff because I don't want to have to explain the travesties of you know soldiers dying, you know, because right, yeah, I I. I I want to shelter, you know, as a parent, you want to shelter your child from hurt, you know, right. until, and at a certain point, they're going to learn it, you know, and I want to be there for them when I do, but yeah, it's, I mean, I... But that's not the age for it. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's why I, I my wife and I, when our sons, we, we only let them watch certain shows, you know, at certain times or whatever, because I don't have to monitor... What they're doing now, they're going to learn stuff yeah. at school and, and and whatever, and I understand that. I guess you can't feel. I guess you can't feel like you can let them sit down and watch like uh, whatever those housewives of whatever shows are on Bravo. And not like, that they would really. Watch I guess you, it yeah. Like, not that they'd be interested in that. Lines of dialogue. But, they're like, I'm done. <laughs> but that's that's interesting. But you know, you know, that's kind of an interesting thought. Is that you know shows that did that well, um, uh, that had like that had like sexual innuendos, like. Uh, well buried on top of comedy were shows like uh, uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse uh, back when we were kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, They did that Perfectly. I mean, they did that to oh, where we talk about the cast on so that. Like there was something over... for kids, and there was something for adults, and it didn't exactly. cross. Right, go, right. Man. And, it, man, and it's something perfect. that you feel like that you could both watch. I kind of feel like I kind of feel like the last show that I guess that I remember um, being that way was uh, Rugrats. 
I felt like Rugrats had something that was for adults also, and then also something for kids to yeah. enjoy, to, to watch together. Um, and, 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 no, or maybe Animaniacs, because but Animaniacs yeah. really yeah, encompassed brain, all of that. Oh yeah, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, there, there's a certain amount that a kid can enjoy and not really understand, and there's a certain amount that adults can, can watch it with their children and, and get it, you know. I remember my dad watching Pinky and the Brain with me. Yeah, I know, yeah. Like, when I watch it now, I'm like, holy shit, there's just so much stuff I didn't understand, <laughs> you know. But back then, I was like, I was completely oblivious to it. And certain shows, they make it so deliberate, you know, that it's like, uh, I, I give people the example. My oldest son. And I, and I really screwed up, and I wish I could turn back the clock and not have done this. But mm-hmm. I was playing a game called Metal Gear, um, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, it's yeah. Like Metal Gear Solid, whatever the, the the newest one was out. Well, there's this one scene when this girl uh, gets in the helicopter, and she has a bomb implanted in her stomach. Whoa! So Ooh. Solid Snake or, or whatever you know, uh, uh, the the main character. Yeah, yeah, Solid Snake. Yeah, had, it's not so, it, it's Solid Snake's uh, a nemesis because this is, takes place in like the fifties and sixties, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Where well, Ocelot, I think is his name. He has to cut this girl's stomach open, and reach his hand in her gut, and pull out this bomb. Ooh, no, I'm not no thinking God. anything about this. I'm just watching the, the video game happen. And I'm like, man, that went kind of deep with that one. I'm like a PS3 and PS4. Yeah. That must be graphic. Yeah, and a PS3 and my. Five year old son at the time is standing behind me watching this, and I, I don't, I know he's there, but I'm not thinking about it. Yeah, he comes up to me crying. No way. Wanting to know Ooh, how come wow. this girl is, you know, is like, and, and he tells me he's like, that's the worst thing I've ever seen. Wow. And, and it, you know, I'm like, holy shit, what did I do? Oh, jeez, man. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I was young. I played a game called uh, Shadow Warrior. It was much like it was made by the guys who made the Duke Nukem games. Mm-hmm. It was a first person shoot 'em up, and I played first person first person shoot 'em up since Wolfenstein 3D. Yeah. But there are these characters. It it, it it Shadow Warrior had like a Japanese and a Chinese type um, a theme to it, and so um, some of the guys that you would run around and you would shoot. Uh, they would put guns in their mouths and they would fire oh, and then Jesus. trails of blood would fly out of the back of their head and they would fall down. Uh, I didn't remember that. And that that, that messed made you up. me that made me think. That made me think a little bit about like real world cuz I was that was like 5th or 6th grade well, so that made me starting to think a little bit about the real world. Well, I went to a birthday party once, and the kid loved Bob the Builder. We had they had Bob the Builder plates and cake and all that stuff. They even had a pinata, and they started wailing on that pinata. And the kid's just like, "Why are you doing that? That's my ear!" And just crying. He's like, "Why are we beating Bob the Builder?" Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He couldn't stop it. There's a line of people that are just ready to pound that thing for candy. <laughs> But it is. It's it's a very interesting thought. Yeah, yeah. You're beating the hell out of something just to get a reward. Yeah. And then you have to... It's a funny thing to think about. I've made the reference to people like, what we consider acceptable to ourselves, I'm like, I mean, who who gives a shit? I'm I'm, I'm cussing, I'm watching this, whatever. It's like, I don't care who you are. You can take the the worst, you know, gang member you can possibly find, a guy in prison, and tell him, it's like, would you want your, your... Any five six-year-old child doing what you did or seeing what you've seen right now. And none of us, you know, 99.9% of us would be like, no, I don't want to. So, yeah. so what in our head changes to where we're like, this is acceptable and this isn't acceptable. I mean, yeah, it, it's kind of odd. And I think about that a lot. I'm like, man, I, I listen to certain music. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, at, at what point do we get to that? You know, we, we crest that bridge to the other side and, yeah, there's there's like a barrier that's kind of gotten taken away because used to you could, used to you could control what more or less what your young ones saw, but now with the internet, well, yeah, but now yeah. with the internet, it's right at their phones. I mean, give your not, kid a tablet even, for his birthday. And, it's not even right. like it was in the mid two thousands. Now it's right in their freaking hands. Yeah, you imagine know? imagine seeing. Uh, you know what, my grandfather, my grandfather used to date this chick. She could have actually been my grandma. Do you see the love letters that they talked about? You know, and like look at Uncle. Oh yeah, you know, look at Uncle Bob. He has the same. Same speaking words as uh, Joe. Yeah, you know? he sounds. Yeah, just like... you know, you know that kind of got me. You know that kind of got me thinking about a G very would. funny story. Yeah. Um, very funny story about my family. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like it you know, better be funny. So. Why not? Why not get into this or conversation? 
Um, my my mother, my mother's uh, mother, my grandmother had an had a sister, uh, my great aunt, I guess. Um, she uh, was um, si was uh, uh, single all of her life. Died single. Died that way. And uh, my mother started going through some of her mom's things, and she found some uh, letters that were addressed to my great aunt, and they were love letters. Huh. Apparently, my great aunt was having like a uh, an affair by letters oh, from wow. some dude in New York. Wow! Some dude in New York. Okay, and so next episode. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> find out on the history affair. So 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 we all take a. Family trip to New York because we to were. Find out who this guy is. And my mom okay. and I, we got in a cab and we found the address because no we had way. the address was written on the letter, and, uh, no and we, we knew that he wouldn't be there, you know. But we just wanted to see what we would find there, so we got in a cab and we went to this like road and we uh, pulled up at this place, and it was like it was supposed to be like the second floor of this. Uh, it was when we found a three-story building. They um, what they did now is they they tore out the third floor and they made the second floor into the third and they turned it into a dance studio. No so we found a dance studio, but yeah. we and we found the, these letters and these letters were very very graphic from what they were talking <laughs> yeah. writing, yeah. writing wow. back and forth to each other. That, that's like that's freaking crazy, man. That's freaking crazy. So yeah, so that's that's just a interesting. They were graphic, but in a way that. In, in that uh, the dialogue of the time huh? right the right right time. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, it it wasn't like yeah it, well like it like, kind of was like a... world war ii type writing you know that people would write and talk to each other that way well, give me, yeah because like some... used to making love actually meant you know just kind of what necking or making out it wasn't actually you know so right. i gotta know like was it Ian and Sheehan. I was churning the butter, and I thought of you. I mean, what, what was it? So I, I, I don't know. I don't know what. I, I don't remember. I, I read some of them. I can't recite any of them from you for you. But what Why? I can tell you, I mean, just with the letters from him, yeah. had drawings around the words Whoa. that he would draw. Yeah. Were they penises? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super bad. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. And I'll do this. <laughs> Your curves. I'm not allowed to write this, but I'll draw it. <laughs> butter has been that's insane. But so, yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. So that's it's, just that's just a. And we 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 don't know. Uh, I don't think we know who he was. Yeah. Like I don't think we we know like the name. I don't think we got the name of him. Uh, but we we had his address. That's so. Wild. We just went to the place and found this dance studio. When we were there, we just looked up through these windows. They had these open windows, of course, to the street, and there were just these women that were dancing inside. What, what were you expecting? Like, yeah, what if it was like a stripping club? <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> now we've what, come to the heart of it. What if it was an eighty-year-old man that that didn't was, leave his house? Yeah, that was walking outside, and you're, you're like, he was on his porch and he was sweeping the, the, the steps or something. You know, when you're did like, you go into the we, dance place and go? My grandfather used to do the horizontal lumbata in here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, put your leg up on that tip. Yeah, that's. We right. didn't know. We didn't know <laughs> what we were gonna find. We probably knew. We we knew we probably wouldn't find. But there was the ounce but... of hope. <laughs> there was the ounce yeah. of something. Yeah, yeah. But, but no, that is weird. That you traced it back. I mean, I think I would have wanted to see the place. Too, yeah, yeah. I don't think we couldn't get inside because it was like locked. They, they, course, New York man. do New York does things differently out there. That's mm. insane. Man. But, uh, but yeah, yeah. That's, that's just... funny though because you know you can walk past a place and not even think about it, and a story like what you're talking about happened Could there. Have happened there years knew. ago. It's well, a friend of mine, like he has a, uh, he has a, uh, he has a he, he, all of his, um, uh, his lineage has always gotten like. The son was always brought in at like age uh, forty or fifty, so his dad was extremely old. Like uh, he's my age, and the dad's like in his seventies and eighties. Uh huh. So, and that's what his dad did, and, and so on and so forth. So they always had their kids really late. And what was interesting, he was clearing out uh, the house. He was clearing out an, an old house, found a wallet, and in the wallet was his dad's marriage license to some other woman. Never even. Oh, and he also, he also, and it was like 1959 or something. What? He also found a condom in there from 1959. What? Like, what they used to call a scumbag. Pigging <laughs> <laughs> test. Pigging test. Oh. Insane. 
Is that where that freaking term comes from, man? Yeah, yeah that's it what up. it used to be. It actually used to be called wow. a scumbag. <laughs> I had no idea. As soon as you said that, I was like, it makes, makes perfect. Okay. That's so funny. Weird trivia. Yeah. yeah. Is there another Bizarre, one? Huh? Is there another one, Matt, that you have that we don't know? Oh, don't ask that question. <laughs> you know not what you ask. <laughs> How did you find that? Scumbag? Uh, I, I don't know Wikipedia? why. I, oh, you know what it was? I was watching uh, Full Metal Jacket, and oh he kept gosh. calling them scumbag. And I went, where the hell? Because I just like et etymology is just kind of fun, you know, so I looked it up. Oh, and yeah. Sure enough, it used to be. That's what it was, so. It was also a song performed by... <laughs> a, 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 a song performed by Green Day. <laughs> ah, yes. yes. Oh, there you see. They probably knew what it was it called. It just goes on and on. They are scumbags. <laughs> But, well, uh, that funny. was that was our hour. We've gone an hour and a half. So we guys... have an hour and a half. Oh man, we better we better cut it off. Yeah, people yeah. are going to start calling in. <laughs> Our navigator go complete. Oh yeah. You, you... Do you guys take callers? We could. I mean, you're our first caller. Well, uh, Larry King did, so you know, I guess we can. We put, a, we put a, our own personal our own personal cell phone on in there and exactly. see if calls. <laughs> it's possible, but. Say, uh, so, uh, I got a question to ask Soten. You're awesome, Yeah, caller number, caller number five. We've got 30 seconds left. Please hurry. <laughs> uh, yes, listen, I have listen. three questions and four comments. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and Colin a story to tell. Me to my wrist. Um, oh, my gosh. There was that one, uh, uh, you ever heard of Howard Stern's Tradio? Yes. It's freaking amazing. No. What is There's this radio? radio program called Tradio. It's like the Craigslist on the radio. And it's a small town. And they got these pranksters. Oh. These pranksters will call up because, yes, I've got one of these uh, whacking, uh, whacking devices uh, for a large <laughs> male. And they keep going. And they see how far they can go before they just get cut off. <laughs> and, and it's funny because it, it's making the viewers very mad. The ma they go, I just want to call. I just, I just call from that last call. Those prank callers, just God bless them. You know they're they're doing the devil's work, wait, and they should. We well, are it. praying for him. Yeah, <laughs> the, the entire thing is all a, a, a oh. shtick. Yeah, even the the callers that call in are Richard and Sal from the the show. Yeah, it's great. I listen to every time. I'm like, man, I want to find these shows and call in. Yeah, oh, I've got, I just found a, a YouTube 135 minutes of Tradio calls. So there, you go. oh, there goes my evening. Man. <laughs> I've got to hear this. Right. Well, you know what? You know what? I have to do something before we leave. Right, before that? we leave, I have to do something, and it's related to the shirt I'm wearing. Oh, I'm wearing an abandoned city shirt that was just mailed to me by Jeff Stark. Jeff Stark, dude, you're freaking awesome. Uh, I um, one night I was just uh, about a couple of weeks ago. I was thinking about a band that I liked in my when I first started getting into college, like in mid early two thousands. And I was like, man, that's a really cool band. But they disbanded, and I was like, oh well, that, that's really sad. So what are they doing? So I got on the internet and I started looking the band members up, and I was like, holy crap, they got into they started another band. That it was like in the mid two thousands, and they already disbanded like around two thousand nine, and that was like <laughs> long before I even knew about it. I was like, no. So I messaged them and I said, "Man, uh, so sorry I missed you guys, but I heard some of your tracks online. It was really cool." And he, uh, the dude, emailed me back. He said, uh, "You want all, you want all of our MP threes?" And I was like, "My God, that would be freaking awesome!" But you know, I, I, I would like a CD. I still play CDs in my car. And he says, "I can email you, or I can mail you my CD. What's your mailing address?" I'm like. Uh, yeah, so I just give him my mailing address and won't give it around, uh, give it over the air. But, um, but, uh, but then today I just got the package. Not only did he send me a CD, he sent me a shirt, some stickers, a koozie, and, uh... Good God. Yeah, yeah, what all this cool stuff. Guy. All this That's stuff. amazing. And it was freaking, it was freaking awesome. So, Jeff Stark, you are an amazing man. And and the, I listened to the CD on the way over here. I'm in the track eight so far, and it's freaking awesome. Since they're disbanded, so. can we get Sync Rice for a movie? Ooh. Oh, we'll see you guys later. Out of here. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for Thanks watching, guys. On that one. <laughs> and we're not broadcasting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>